A very rare weather pattern is currently developing in the United States, which is set to bring record-breaking cold temperatures to much of the United States tonight. Additionally, a ton of snow is currently falling across parts of the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the Northeast, with more snow on the way for areas like Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, and even Indiana and Illinois. Additionally, a huge storm could impact the United States this upcoming weekend, which could cause the return of severe weather and even more snowfall. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And right now we have a big storm system that has now made its way all the way up into the northeast. On the back side of that low pressure system is where we have a plume of lake effect snow falling across parts of Illinois, including Chicago, northwest Indiana, and much of western Michigan. This is going to continue throughout the daytime today. And on top of that, we are expecting lake effect snow to ramp up across lake Lake Erie and Lake Ontario later today. So get ready for a lot more snowfall. We could even see some light snow and perhaps even a little coating to an inch across parts of Tennessee, Kentucky, Southern Ohio, and Indiana today. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But notice this really sharp line right here. This line is the divide between very dry and also moist air. That right there is our cold frontal boundary, which has now made its way all the way down into parts of Florida this morning. And we are anticipating that this will continue to move to the east throughout the daytime today. And some of the coldest weather that we've seen in a long time is coming to areas in the southeast and all up and down the east coast. We are forecasting upwards of 40 different records to be broken tonight for low temperatures across the southeast. That is exactly how cold it's going to get and why this is a very rare weather pattern that is currently developing. And then back over in the Great Plains, things are pretty quiet for right now, but I do think that'll change as we go later into this week. Also, check this out. This is thunder snow that happened last night in northwestern Indiana near Porter. This is something that we could see today as well near Chicago or southwestern Michigan or even perhaps northeastern Ohio. So keep an eye out for a little bit of thunder snow today. But let's talk more about this very rare weather pattern that is about to impact the United States. And for many of you this morning, you are already starting to feel the impacts of this. This is basically our first taste of winter, but this is coming upwards of one to two months early for many areas. This is what our jet stream looks like right now. We have a huge dip in the jet stream that stretches all the way from Canada back into the deep south, and even across parts of the Gulf Coast is where our jet stream is very intense right now. All of this dip right here is helping cold air to come out of Canada and it's built up over the last few days, so we are truly feeling our first Arctic air of the season. As we go into tomorrow and as well as Wednesday, that is when the coldest of the air will reach down to Florida, which is where I anticipate upwards of 40 different records to be broken in terms of low temperatures, which is absolutely crazy. We have not had a record-breaking event like that in quite some time, especially in the southeast for temperatures. By the middle and end of the week, our jet stream is going to remain still meridional, which means we will still have an active weather pattern, That, but that's mainly going to be across the northeast and the midwest where lake effect snow some rain will also continue through the middle of the week and then by next weekend we got to watch this right here we got a big storm coming by around friday and saturday that could bring the return of severe weather and maybe even another winter storm it's a little uncertain on exactly what's going to happen but i do think we're at least going to get some sort of severe weather setup back over in the southern plains in the mississippi valley on saturday and then from there things get a lot more uncertain but we could see a continuation of severe weather on sunday across parts of the southeast so this is a storm that we'll be talking more about here in just a few moments and you don't see this very often but we have freeze warnings that are stretching all the way from Oklahoma and Texas back into Florida and Virginia and North Carolina for the next 24 hours this includes what's happening this morning and also for tomorrow so get ready for temperatures to drop below 32 degrees for the first time this season which again in Florida not something you see very often this time of the year it might even get close to Orlando tomorrow morning which is very crazy and then the anywhere in the purples that's where we have winter weather advisories currently in effect and then winter storm warnings in the pink which does include areas like Chicago. Now one of the craziest things about this weather pattern that we're going to experience for the next couple of days is how cold it is about to get. These are your temperature anomalies. Notice how cold our air mass is today across Tennessee, Kentucky and even through Alabama and Georgia. This is an area that we could see some snowfall this afternoon. I'm not expecting accumulation but snow flurries down this far down to the south in November is not something that is very common and on top of that this is upwards of 30 degrees below 
average for temperatures during the morning and afternoon hours. So very cold air. And then by tonight, that cold air is going to make it all the way down into Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. And much of Florida will have a falling iguana alert, which means falling iguanas are going to be a possibility tonight as it's going to be very cold across Florida. And on top of that, we have the threat of freezing temperatures. So protect sensitive vegetation if you're in any of those freeze warnings. By Tuesday morning, all that cold air is going to be draping the entire east coast of the United States from Florida all the way through Maine. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, that cold air starts to move out. It will still be below average for much of the east coast through at least Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday is when a ton of warm air will make a return across the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the Ohio Valley. And this is when severe weather and as well as another winter weather event could take place. So these are the low temperatures that you're waking up to this morning. Most areas from central Texas all the way back into Alabama and northern Georgia have dropped below freezing for the first time this season. But tomorrow morning is where we could have a ton of different records shattered, especially across the southeast, including Kentucky and Tennessee, where temperatures will be down near 20 degrees. Even some teens are possible back over in Kentucky. So very cold weather. You might even have to protect pipes, at least in some of those areas. And then back over in northern Florida, that is an area that we are expecting freezing temperatures to make it as far south as areas just barely north of Orlando, including Ocala. We could even see some areas like Tampa and even Daytona Beach get down near 35 degrees. So it is going to be a very cold morning tomorrow. Again, the coldest weather that we've seen in a long time for those areas. And then by Wednesday morning, things begin to improve as the freezing line will raise way back off to the north again, where it really should be for this time of the year, all the way back up into the Ohio Valley in the Midwest. And over the next 48 hours, we are forecasting well over 50 different records to be broken across the United States. And it all begins this afternoon where our record-breaking low maximum temperatures, which means the coldest high temperatures that we've recorded on this given day, are about to go down anywhere from western New York all the way back through the Gulf Coast. Many areas, even including northern and central Georgia, will not get out of the low 40s today. That is just insane for November. I cannot stress that enough. Like, this is just something that you do not see in the month of November hardly ever. And then as we go into tomorrow morning, it gets even crazier. These are the forecasted low temperatures for tomorrow morning, and almost all of Florida, all the different weather stations will be near or at record-breaking levels from Miami and Key West all the way through Jacksonville. Jacksonville currently forecasted to drop below freezing and then even back over in the Carolinas, the Dixie Alley. Look at this, even over in Huntsville, Alabama, only 21 degrees tomorrow morning. Get ready for an actual winter weather pattern here over the next 24 hours. And then our record-breaking low maximum temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. Almost all of Florida, once again, we're not even getting out of the 50s in some areas, which is usually something that we see in very late December or even January. This is happening well over a month in advance. Now shifting gears over to the snow that is coming out of this big storm system as we are expecting the threat of upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow in some locations over the next 48 hours. This is what it looks like this morning. We still have lake effect snow across northeastern Illinois, mainly near Chicago. Light to moderate snow falling across parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and even Kentucky. Some snow flurries all the way as far south as Nashville this morning. By lunchtime today, there will be some very light snow snowfall making its way across Kentucky and eastern Tennessee. I would not rule out a coating to upwards of one inch of snow in some locations later today. That'll be primarily across eastern and central Kentucky and around and just east of Nashville. What is really surprising is that Nashville, Tennessee could actually have measurable snowfall before Denver, Colorado has this year. If that happens, that's never happened in our history of record. So that'll definitely be something to watch for later today. And then just after sunset, snow could make its way all the way down into northern Georgia and northwestern South Carolina. I'm not expecting accumulation, but some snow flurries are definitely not impossible out of this event. And then late tonight, lake effect snow will ramp up really across northwestern Indiana, southwestern Michigan. Lake effect snow is going to be ongoing anywhere from Cleveland all the way back into Watertown. And then overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, the bulk of our lake effect snow will be concentrated towards Lake Erie and also near Lake Ontario. And then going into late Tuesday evening, there will be another little clipper system that will bring some light to moderate snow fall across parts of New York, Pennsylvania, and perhaps into New England as we go into Wednesday morning. So heading into Wednesday morning, there will be some light to moderate snowfall making its way into New England. This is not going to accumulate to much, but this will be our first snowfall of the year for many across Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. And by Wednesday evening into Thursday morning, most of the snow will be very light and it will be very uh, hit or miss for most of these areas. It'll become a lot more isolated. And I think by Friday, we start to wind down with most of the snowfall, maybe a little bit of lake effect snow continuing in Lake Erie and Lake Ontario through early Friday. Now in terms of total snowfall accumulation, the majority of it will continue to be in northwestern Indiana. This 
does not include what we've already seen, so keep that in mind. But northwest Indiana could still see an additional 5 to 10 inches of snow just over the next 24 hours as our snow band starts to shift from being over Chicago back over towards areas like western Michigan and northwest Indiana later this afternoon. And then if you're anywhere along Lake Erie or Lake Ontario, this is an area that I do anticipate there to be at least some spotty areas that pick up around 6 to 12 inches of snow. That should be really an extreme northwestern Pennsylvania, very far western New York, and perhaps back over near Watertown. Elsewhere, though, we're really just expecting a range of anywhere from two to about six inches of snow anywhere in the blue or purple shaded areas. And then back over in Tennessee and Kentucky, though I don't really expect much accumulation today, I do think a coating on elevated surfaces, maybe if it's cold enough, we could see a half an inch of snow in a few locations, but I think it'll be very isolated today. Now, beyond this big Arctic blast and the snow that's going to be falling across the Northeast and the Ohio Valley over the next few days, our weather's going to change a ton. By Wednesday, and Thursday, we're going to have high pressure dominating all across the Great Plains and back into the southeast. An intense atmospheric river event is expected on Wednesday and Thursday across the Pacific Northwest with heavy rainfall, high winds, and even the threat of snowfall in the higher elevations, mainly going to be happening Thursday and Friday, so get ready for that. And then by late Friday and Saturday, some of that energy and moisture that's going to be break, basically breaking off from this atmospheric river event is going to lead to a large storm system to enter the United States by around late Friday and early Saturday. And and so notice on Saturday, we're going to have a fairly large storm system. It's going to be kind of complex here, I think, on Saturday. We'll likely have a low pressure system back over in Texas. This would be where we're watching for the threat of severe weather, including damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes. And then on the northern side, we could have another low pressure system. That one would be more focused just towards rain, with snow and any sort of freezing rain staying far to the north. That might not impact the United States, but I think it's a little bit too early to tell what's going to happen there. And then by Sunday and Monday, any severe weather risk would make its way across the southeast with all hazards being a possibility and then maybe some snow and freezing rain across the northeast by early next week but that remains very uncertain at this time the gfs model is almost trying to make a nor'easter happen which at this point is just way too hard to predict while well, that's almost nine days from now but overall this is really gonna be the next big storm system to watch for as it will likely impact at least 50 million people and as always thank you all so much for watching today's forecast if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below and in case you didn't notice in today's video my voice has actually been hurting literally this entire forecast and if you don't follow me on socials on facebook or twitter at max velocity wx well first off you should second off i was actually at the new england patriots game yesterday over in tampa bay and i've never gone to an nfl game before i was screaming like crazy i'm surprised i could even make a video today because my voice is literally hurting like crazy but nonetheless we have a video i appreciate you guys all watching hopefully i'm able to get my voice back to normal hopefully by tomorrow we'll have another video most likely tomorrow so stay tuned and we'll see you all again in the next video